Nothing by it. Trust me, there's things you better off not knowing. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you, Mr. Marston, those coyotes eat better than I do. <laughs> not far now. You'll see the fort when you get to the top of this hill. Slow up. Yeah. Sorry, but you're mine. When we get to the fort, Mr. Marston. Listen, mister. This... Let's go! I started paying back that $15. Well, no time to waste. General store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. How are you? How do we end this, my friend? <laughs> that one nearly gave me a haircut. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. That's the 
the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. Gee up! Come on, easy up now. That's the barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. Yeah! Whoa! And here back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaint from me, Miss McFarlane. Well, are we going inside? <sighs> We'd best get moving. This is a dangerous time of night for us. Come on. Right. Follow me. Keep your eyes peeled for anything suspicious. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. Come on. Whoa. God damn it, these rabbits are at it again. Come on, let's get rid of them once and for all. Get your rifle out. It's about time these little thieves met their maker. You got one! Nice shooting! That's it. Kill those little vermin. Thank you, Mr. Marshall. chickens. Let's go. I'll take you back to your room. You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarlane. This is you, Mr. Marston. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me... On the count of three. Three, two, one, go! I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this! Let's go! Come on. 
you can do come on I bet you're starting to regret your brave words miss McFarland how you doing back there let's go should I wait for you to catch up would you like me to slow down How are you? I just find armadillo. Is that too much to ask? Hop on up, Mr. Marston. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response.
Come on then, Marston. Follow me. Slow it down there, Marston. This ain't a race. Damn, he's seen it. Come on, don't lose him. Mount up, Marston. Walton's our man. as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? Yeah! Come on, easy up now! Take cover behind that wagon to your right. There's one behind the crate. Take him down. One move, and you're a dead man. I'll kill all you fools. Who wants me next? We're aiming at somebody, goddammit. Guess Walton left now. Try to take a shot. I'd have preferred him to swing, but I guess players can't be too. What the hell are you shooting at? Not a bad shot, Mr. Marston. Let's go! Easy. 
Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Right. Now you got some your belt. Let's see if we can't wrangle some horses. Father. I'm glad. He's quite a character. You have a good life here. The life I want. For me and my family, I mean. from the snobbery, that is.
where it narrows. We'll trap them there. For your help today, Mr. Marston. We got.
Excuse me. The closest doctor is in Armadillo! Ah! Love and Don stick to the road! What is your name, friend? John Morse. Oh, good God! Out of the fr Good Lord! It's those scoundrels once again! Come on, don't stop! I'm begging you! Please! Let's keep moving! Not this again!
Let's hit the breeze, boys. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. Come on! Let's stay on this road. Maybe the folks at Ridgewood Farm saw something. What kind of man does that? A bunch of weak men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. Some men are just born plain meat. I think it's this land that makes the men. As much as the other way around. Let's go! Yeah! Waiting for you in the shed out back. Make a run. Hey, Jesus, We're gonna be all right. Head for the shed in the back as soon as it looks clear. Thank you. They said they were gonna kill us all. Looks all clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farmers. My God. in a complicated transaction.
That's somebody on the cliff. You just walk this way. Keep together and stay in here. This is the best cover we got. You're gonna leave this in a box. the old goat. Come on! I've got a bad feeling about this. It's not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry. We'll find him. Open your goddamn eyes! He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Come on! Nice. It's a bad idea to yeah. split up right now. Please stay close. What could have happened to those poor men? And their horses were dead too. I think we should get back there as soon as we can.
I don't have a clue. All right, but it's got to be something to do with it. Yeah. Come on, let's get this charmer to tumbleweed. See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affairs. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in cheap clothing, all of them, rob you to make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas I know don't care about people. I'd all say they those care about is lining their pockets. Why is this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deke, Williamson's right-hand man. In other words, a glorified errand you boy. Wait, Marshal! I'll be back for you! Bill standards have slipped. We already filled you with lead once, you ugly bastard! Deke's the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. What is this place we're headed? You're not taking advantage of the McFarland, Marston. They saved my life. Gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I could ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable, in different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. I know you helped, just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and the past. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubts. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business neither. How is this mess supposed to turn out? Sending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyways, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. Then look at Deke here. Stop burning so hard, you son of a bitch! I'll kill all three of you myself, I swear! into town. We'll be right behind you. I'm sure it's been that. All right, sunshine. Let's move. You'll get yours. Let's go. And don't try anything stupid. I'm walking, guy. Come on. Let's move it out. All right. I'm moving. Don't try anything too smart. Move. You'll get yours, you son of a bitch. What are you waiting for? Untie me, fellas. Wait. Where's Bonnie, you bastards? <laughs> Trusting son of a bitch, ain't you?
involved in this! Nobody with the plan! Now on to the next one! And I can tell you, with no uncertainty... Head for Ridgewood Farm, John, and hurry. There are people there in dire need of my tonic. I heard about you, Mr. West Dickens. And I about you, John Marston. Hoodwinking the weak, gullible out of their hard-earned money. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible, if I may be so bold, for heeding such ill-informed scuttle. Not for a wind as a horse with the collar. If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine fettle in which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocked at the death door. You should thank the doctor for that. I reckon you were acting it up worse than it was. Act like that, John. Lord, the invincible fellow there has never been. And so shall you be there, Iago or Cassio. I don't like the sound of this. Showmanship, John. The flourish. The power. Get back on the road! We'll have nothing left by the time we get to Ridgewood! We are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our product must stand out! And how does this involve me? We're going to use your God-given talents to our advantage. I'm really starting to regret I'll this. I'll drop you off at the outskirts of Ridgewood. That way, it won't look like we came together. Once I'm set up, saunter nonchalantly into the crowd that is sure to be on Eventually, I will call you up to try my cut. After extolling the virtues, I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the king. You hop out here, John. souls of remarkable the eyesight of an eagle get ready to shoot that path I thought we were here to see Such an eye! Behold the power of the elixir! Look! Look at him! The tonic is coursing through his veins! Can you believe your eyes? Tell me where you want it! There it is! Marvelous shot, dear boy!
Sink that low. Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, ah, hip. The whole damn lot of you. Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses. They don't care none. These people have been laid to rest. You don't know nothing. I talk to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fellow. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rough. I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you, you're special. Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they gets warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream, and when we wake up, we'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. you say? I, I didn't say nothing. I just heard you say something. You're a crazy man. You should get that head looked at. Seth, I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Oh, yes. I met Williamson and Deke and all them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who do things most other fellers. Now, that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map, that is. about this map? Nothing much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a rage and fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, my children, my business. Good riddance to them all. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. I can smell you from here. It used to be about the money, but now... I don't know who I am no more. I see myself, but it's like I'm looking at somebody else. If only it's me, you know? Maybe it's time you moved on. No way I can stop now. It's taking me over. <laughs> There's no difference between night and day. One god awful of I know. This place is better than a side of bacon. think you are, mister? Stay there! 
You just wait till I get loose, mister. Moses, you son of a bitch! Where... Come on, ain't no time to be wasting. Hello there. That cro... This letter should do it. You better go straight now, like me. I'll be seeing you again. So, mister... Now, sir, do get to breach.
I'll take care of this cart for Mr. Wes Dickens. Come on, John. I suggest we beat a hasty retreat. Right. Best remove ourselves from the stage. Well done, sir. Well done. Souls of Stay home of bonus is not been looking down on me favorably. Who? What about it? Paint the state of business man. I'd say he's giving you your just desserts. No, Harvey Cock. Those inmates were clearly informed of my refund policy. You can only shit on people for so long before they decide it's their turn to pull down the pan. A crude metaphor in every sense of the word, my dear boy. You leave the business to me. Do I try to tell you how to rob banks? Robbing banks felt more honest than this. Such bitterness. Well, I ain't surprised. That tonic I drank at Ridgewood went through me like a dose of salt. You starting to regret this yet?
John. There's Quavaseca up ahead. My dear boy, save the day again. It always impressed me. Mr. West Dickens! Let's go, my dear boy! I'll show you the way! Come on! Let's go!
he's conquered. <laughs> Let's go! You came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was me only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Thick as thieves ever since, and that's right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman, me pa always told me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The kind of fellows who will steal an acorn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. Not for now. The thieving bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. Set. Come on! Loitering with the pile of dead bodies was the best idea. All right. I know a secluded spot where we can search these sleeping beauties. Day left. No need for the people of Armadillo to see my friends back here. Where are you? Come on. Don't be shy. What did you say? I didn't say nothing. Are you talking to them? So what if I am? I feel less alone with them than in a crowd of people. Damn it, mister! I told you not to drive through Armadillo! Oh my! It's them damn treasure hunters! Try and outrun them, partner! Fast as you can, partner! I'll search these bodies as we go! Come on, let's get this wacky moving! Where's my man? Come on, whisper to me. Oh my, oh my! All done with this one! Are you hiding something for yourself? Oh, you naughty little boy! Woo! Somebody needs a new cologne! There's some bullets on this one. 
Better than a poke in the eye. Sorry there ain't time for a burial, partner. Come on now. Play nice, my lovely. This won't take long. Boy, you better run. Don't hey, keep you blocking the lion painter. Come on, Dad. We'll find your precious good. Come on! Lily of the West. You're not gonna pass out on me, are you, Irish? <laughs> me? No! Fight this raid! <laughs> or at least somewhere stuck between fair and meddling. Well, you're gonna be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. It weren't like that at all, feller. The intentions were pure. I swear it on me, poor mother's loy. I just get a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus! You're an impatient bastard, aren't you? Where's the gun, Irish? 
Not far now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gap Tooth so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always fighty bastards. Spend too long without daylight and doxies, and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. Only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? You two-faced little bastard. Stop, damn it. Here we are. Let's stop here a moment to get a lie of the land. You're trespassing. State your business or move along. Gentlemen, and I'm afraid you're dead. Bottom of the hill!
It's like that, is it? Huh? According to the map, it's somewhere in that big abandoned house. Somewhere in that big abandoned house. Up, sister. Put them. How about a drink or two, mister? I don't think that's a good oh, idea. You want to hurt a girl like me? Oh. What you looking at? Ah, what you looking at? Huh? I can't stand to see a man walk around with such a dry pecker. Can I help? Drunk as I am, my prick's in fine working order. <laughs> what a lusty specimen you are. Like Ooh, that. that fresh air's got me head spinning like a top. Can't be good for a fella. Shut up, you lazy drunk. Before I stop your head spinning with a bullet. 
I resent that, Johnny. I've been working like a beaver on your behalf. You've been working like a weasel on my behalf. Bushwhacking defenseless ladies of the cloth? You must have been raised on sour milk, Irish. What are you talking about? I'm a good Catholic boy. You're a booze-blind coward. And you're a hypocrite, Marston. You've robbed just as many innocent Please, folks as me. I tried to only rob Yo, those who had more than they deserved. Ain't nobody Christ, the church has like more you. money than anybody. Friend, you want to come down off that rim rock. Where are we going, Irish? Just to the warehouse here in Thieves Landing. I'm telling you, Johnny boy, it's all set up. We're meeting this pal of mine at the back door of the office, hobble-tongued feller by the name of Shaky. And he's got the ammunition we need? Jesus, stop fretting, will you? I knows about guns front, back, and sideways. All right, we're here. Stay close. I'm beginning to lose my patience. Keep your eyes open. Shaky's all right, but I don't trust the gang of fools he runs with. Shaky's made the arrangements. All right, work your usual magic. I'll go get the wagon ready. Who the hell are you? For your kindness, Mister. I th 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 thought I, I was dead, man. My kindness. Well, Let's head for the door. Follow me. Why do you want to die? That, that Winchester appears on to make sure, sure, sure work. Nobody puts their hands. Now we're even. Come on then, Johnny boy, let's go. Come on, time we was making tracks. Did you have fun in there, you and Shaky? I killed a lot of men for this damn machine gun of yours. I'm sorry I missed all the dramas. You always miss all the drama. There must be cobwebs growing on that holster of yours. Someone's got to drive the wagon, don't they? Teamwork, Johnny boy, that's my game, not just the glory like you. Johnny, I'll get you back to McFarland's. Yeah. Jesus, somebody wants 
enough ammunition here to take down a small country, fella. I'm gonna need it. Bill Williamson's got himself an army. So I guess this is where we part ways, Johnny Marston. Or maybe not, friend. You're gonna be right alongside me when I take on that fort. After all you put me through, it's time you pull the damn trigger for once. Show me what a big, bad killer you really are. Uh, yes, of course. What am I thinking? Don't worry, you can count on me. I just hope I don't steal all your glory. Wouldn't be right or proper. Let's go! Now just stay put till I tell you otherwise. That scoundrel Seth had better not let us down. Once we're inside and I've lulled our adversaries into a pulp sense of security with some beguiling sales patter, I will give you the signal. The moment you hear a sharp rap on the side of the wagon, rise like the phoenix and start shooting like you've never shot before. This is it, my dear boy. The moment of truth. Me and you, John. One last time into the breach. This is going to have to be the performance of my life. I hope my nerves don't get the better of me. I'll be honest with you, John. I'm a little jittery. John? John? Bit of miracles back here. Thank God. Now I'll be ready with that machine gun, my dear boy. I'll be a sitting duck in there.
I bet you where's that boat? Where's Williamson? That's the last of them. We still can't find Will. This should give them the message! <laughs> yes, well, that's what makes you... Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action of Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of tits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with him. At least you got your priorities straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. Well, you're here now. I can't swim, you know. Me neither. But a current like this will carry you for miles. We'll end up on shore sooner or later. Shite, somebody doesn't like us. There's too many of us. Cut the rope. We'll drift down river. Oh, my God, Lord. I should have probably mentioned that there is a problem. We'll ride the river out. No point trying to land till we're well away from these bastards. Jump to it, Johnny boy. There's a rifle at the back of the raft. Stick it, sons of stupid! I stashed some ammunition here at the back of the raft. Grab it if you're running low. I dropped a hundred fools like you! 
You'll go out of it pissing your pants. This is the fourth time your so-called friends have nearly got me killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. They do. At least the lassies do. Oh, the big brown eyes. Turn stone into butter, they would. And the Mexicans know how to make a bottle of liquor, too. What, that poke? <laughs> now there's a drink that would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Oh, you're gonna have some fun. I'm just here for Bill Williamson. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellas trying to kill you. Down here, they call me El Rato. The cat. On account of me, sonny. I'm pretty sure Rato means rat, my friend. I like it, though. A little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language, was you, John Marston? Damn more the sons of bitches! Why that wrong? Get the hell away from here! Come on, now! Stop that! Country and they're already trying to kill me. You know who I am. Look up, Taylor! They're on top of the cliff! 
times. Bloody Nara! Look left, on top of the cliff. Takes a life! There's more ammunition in the box at the back of the raft. I'd give up now if I was you! You're on top of the cliff, boy! any of it, Irish. There's a beach coming up. Hang on. We'll be on dry land soon. We made it, thank the Lord. Very glad to be getting out of that floating desk. <laughs> These horses... 